hi there in this video I'm going to talk about the use of text function in jQuery and how you can utilize this to do some interesting things so what does this text function does to understand the text function you need to go to the HTML document and uh, start a paragraph. For example, a uh, paragraph started with a P and ended with a slash P tag. And you're going to write a text in that. What this text function does is it can give you this value or it can change the value. So if you're using jQuery to dynamically manipulate your page, the text function helps you to uh, get this value or also change this value dynamically. To use the jQuery in your HTML document, I hope you're aware of the HTML document, how it is uh, structured. You need to include a script from the Google CDN that you can go ahead and search in google by typing cjquery cd in google and then go to the google hosted libraries and then from there go to the jquery and copy this whole thing hold this whole thing and place it uh, in the head section now that jquery has been included we can start working with it so we're going to add the script tag here the script tag is the place where we can add the JavaScript code and it is added by the slash script tag. Uh, to add the J jQuery code, we have to use this uh, symbol called as the dollar, which takes an argument called as the document and it returns a document object. So when the document has been loaded, which is denoted by the ready function, it will call a function inside it. I'm not going to go detail uh, into details of the ready function uh, because uh, this is not part of this tutorial. Maybe you can check out my other tutorial to understand the ready function. Inside that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out what is the text inside these paragraph elements. So let us keep it very simple so that you can understand the document. It can be really complicated. Uh, we'll have only one paragraph element and we are going to alert the value of uh, the paragraph element and what is contained inside it. So what I've done is I've used this dollar sign to select the paragraph element and I've selected the text part of this. So I'm going to see the error. This is some text. Let us see if it happens this way or not. So I, when, when I run this document, and we can see that this is some text has been taken from the paragraph. Now we are going to see an alert, uh, a kind of a box which will show us the text inside the paragraph. So as you can see, the alert has, this is some text which is same as what has been included in the paragraph. So this is how you see anything inside the contained inside the HTML element. So for example, if you have some kind of div and you, you want to find out what is inside this div, all you need to write is the same code and type in div to select all the div, which is only one in this case and alert the text inside that div. So this is some text and next alert we should get is this is another text. Exactly. Now what if we want to just change the text of the paragraph and check out whether this happens dynamically or not. We will just remove this code and we will search the paragraph tag once again. And we will say text but instead this time we are going to pass a new value. So we are going to pass a string so our new text should do fine. Let us see if this value gets changed to the new text. So you can see the paragraph value is now new text. It also takes a function as an argument. So for example, 
if you have another function inside it you can put this in a body and you want to do some kind of manipulation before passing it then you can do it like this return a plus or something like this I'm just giving this example and you can just guess just give some space behind it and when we run this whole thing we'll see the same thing now it is returned by the function value so the text inside this paragraph is set to the return value so basically this is how you can utilize the text function to read and also to set the value it's a very handy function and there's a good documentation in jquery we talked about uh, just uh, reading the value and then setting the value and then using the function to set the value you can just go through this documentation it has got something interesting quirks that you can apply to your project i hope you like it thanks for watching